Hey guys, so last month I read a book that really blew me away with how much I enjoyed it. It's called Dawn of Wonder by Jonathan Renshaw, first in the Awakening series and the only one out so far. I actually listened to this one on audio, narrated by Tim Gerard Reynolds, and I highly suggest that, but you can also get it on ebook and physically too. This is a kind of coming of age story with tons of adventure, a lot of characters, of really great characters, interesting places, and a world that's just waiting to be discovered. Now, we begin with Aiden in the small town he grew up in, as he goes on various different adventures with his friends around the forest near where he lives. His father is a forester and has taught Aiden how to navigate and survive in those kinds of places. Aiden's a tactician at heart and a leader just by nature. He loves his friends and would do anything for them. And one day, the threat of this slaver group arises in this town. Nearby, there have been reports of people being taken in large amounts. This is all right at the beginning, basically, and sort of kicks off the story in high gear. A bunch of things happen all at once. One of Aiden's best friends is taken, possibly dead, and that friend's father blames Aiden. So he and his family leave that town and head off at the will of his father, who along with being a forester by trade is really very abusive towards both Aiden and his mother. They, they head off towards a new town, and Aiden is affected very deeply by the loss of his friend by leaving his home and having to spend all of his time with his father and this other abrasive older married couple they run into along the way. Everyone around him seems to want to control where his life goes, but he's driven by different things and he wants to do more with his life than he's ever been able to. This leads him to an academy that trains young people like himself to be marshals, which is an elite group of spy, warrior, soldiers, in which he meets new friends, new mentors, learns many new things, becomes more than what he started as, and goes on more adventures. And I mean, this is this is really all I can say on the plot, because while this book is quite long and a lot happens, the audiobook is like 30 hours long and the print book is 700 pages or so, it really moves from thing to thing to thing to thing, so that the more I tell you, the more spoilery this will get. I, I really want you to go out and experience everything that Aiden does on your own. It's really a grand adventure with a great main character that you really get to know the depths of. We read entirely from his perspective throughout the whole thing, but seeing how he interacts with his friends, with his enemies, what he wants and how he sets out to get what he wants, it's, it's invigorating to see such a great young character learn so much and become so much and go through quite a bit of hardship. His father does so much to him and his mother and this new place he's gone to just kind of wants to swallow him up whole but he holds his head above the water and takes it all in stride uses it to make himself better to really learn he makes some not so great choices here and there but takes responsibility for himself and his actions he inspires those around him to do new things be more adventurous themselves and the, the, the mayhem they create and the things they do are just a joy to read about. While the main character and a lot of those supporting are all quite young, this book does not feel young or like YA at all. It's, it's clean and it's full of life, but it's got the light, the dark, and the in-between of Aiden's world. There are some very real themes going on here in relation to growing up, being a good person, abuse, revenge, friendship, etc. I'd say it's an adult epic fantasy, just with major coming-of-age themes and growing characters. And it's actually an interesting place to be considering that it's fantasy. There's nothing really supernatural happening, uh, no discernible like magic or magic system to learn or anything, though there are some interesting things happening uh, regarding that later on. This, this feels like a different kind of epic fantasy that I think a lot of people would really enjoy. We follow so much in the life of Aiden, it can seem like a bit much at times. I I'm sure that could be a turnoff for some people that we really get to see the day-to-day -day life and development of these characters uh, because it goes into some really heavy detail, uh, not dense or anything, uh, of each thing that happens on this journey in this new town, at this academy, etc. The plot kind of meanders quite a bit and seems to be non-existent in some places. There's no huge rise and climax built up throughout the book, but a slow burning look at Aiden's growth as a person. And actually, I really love that about it. I, I found so much of it to be fascinating and fun and captivating. 
It's a great exercise in writing the series of scene after scene after scene, uh, each kind of leading into the next that doesn't really have an overarching plot or pace to it. There's these sort of like little mini arcs that happen and towards the end one of them becomes the ending climax and decline into the conclusion but it's a lot of fun either way and I think it actually adds to why I enjoyed this so much. I could have just let it go on and on and on and never gotten tired of it. Jonathan Renshaw's writing is fantastic also. His his storytelling reminds me a bit of Michael J. Sullivan but even more like beautiful. Maybe a little like splash of Patrick Rothfuss thrown in there. None of the writing is like overtly flowery or obtrusive or overly done, but it's all really nice and lovely in its simplicity and comprehensibility. It really gives the story and its characters a life. And Tim Gerard Reynolds' narration of the audiobook was, of course, spot on too. Uh, one of his best performances that I've heard so far, and I've heard quite a few. Overall, this book was a joy to read, and I cannot wait for the second one. It was actually originally self-published and then picked up by Podium Publishing, and it's a fantastic self-published uh, book. It's a great debut novel and one that I think many of you might like as much as I did. I actually mentioned this also in my uh, top five favorite audiobooks of 2016 video because of how good I thought it was. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Let me know if you're interested in giving this a shot, if you picked it up, if you've read it, and I will see you later with more.